What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. So today we're talking about basketball. We're talking about lenses for basketball and I'm gonna share with you my thoughts on the best lenses that you can use when it comes to shooting basketball. What do I think are the best focal lengths? Where do I think they work the best? And I'm also gonna to talk to you a little bit towards the end of the video on whereabouts around the court I tend to use the lenses and why. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out about that. Before I get into the detail of the lenses, I'm gonna ask you guys to do two things for me. Number one, hit that like button. I always ask you every video and I'm asking you again, do me a favor, hit the like button because it helps me out loads and loads. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Right, so look, let's get into talking about basketball. Now, basketball is a little bit different to some of the other sports that I shoot, and mainly that is because I do not use my 400mm lens. My 400mm on that monopod is an absolute staple for so many of the sports that I do. All of the outdoor sports, and I shoot a lot of football, soccer, so of course I use my 400mm loads. But you know what, when it comes to shooting basketball, I don't even take it with me. It's not even in the bag because I find that to be too much of a zoom length, too much of a telephoto lens for shooting basketball. There are lots of other lenses that I use instead. Now I'm gonna work through them. We're gonna start with some of the wide angle ones and we're gonna to move towards some of the more telephoto or the more zoom lenses. Of course, these are just the lenses I use. And of course, they're pretty much all Canon. In fact, they're all Canon lenses. <laughs> That doesn't mean I'm against third party. I've used Sigma lenses before, and I'll talk to you about that as we go. But why don't you guys comment below, let me know which lenses you used for basketball, which ones do you find are the best, because I'll be really interested to hear. So right, let's get into this. Number one is actually the lens that is on the camera right now and I'm filming with, so I can't show you it. But instead, we will use this old little bad boy to represent it. This is the 18 to 55 kit lens, but the lens that I'm talking about is the Canon 17 to 40 mil f4. I use that for some of my wider angle shots, right? There is a big place for wide angle shots in basketball. Some of my favorite shots come from those wider angle like in under the basket type shots those kind of epic views that look really really cool when it comes to basketball so I love to take a wide angle with me I'm not worried about the fact that it's f4 when it comes to those kind of shots I tend to work with f4 slightly wider depth of field anyway because normally those shots will have at least two three four players in the shot and you want to try and get as many of them as you can in focus so that's 17 to 40 mil. That is one of my favorite lenses. I've used other wide angle lenses too. I talked about third party. I used to use a Sigma 18 to 35 mil. That was fantastic because it was f 1.8. It worked so well with my 7D2. I was able to really get down some of those lower f stops when I was shooting some closer action and then opened it up a bit more for those wider shots that I'm talking about. So number one is the Canon 17 to 40 mil f4 lens. So moving in a little bit closer from there, our next lens is this right here. This is the Canon 24 to 70 f2.8. Now this is one of my absolute go-to lenses for basketball, mainly because it has that versatility, right? If you're shooting at 24 mil, you can get some of the slightly wider shots, not as wide as the 17, of course, but a little bit wider. But again, you can zoom straight in to 70 mil to get a lot more of that closer action around the court. Really versatile lens, and I find that you can cover a lot of the court if you're sitting in the right kind of positions. You can cover pretty much all the court with your 24 to 70. It's an f2.8 lens, which means it's good in that low light. I bring that right the way down to f2.8. That means with my shutter speed of about 1000 or even 1250th of a second, ISO 6400, something like that, I tend to get some really lovely shots at f2.8 using this lens. The versatility of it is wide is one of my favorites for so many different things that I shoot but especially basketball. So moving on from there we're looking at a prime lens something a little bit different and this is the Canon 50mm f1.8. Now before I got my 2470 this was pretty much my go-to lens for basketball the old nifty 50 this is such a good little lens and it performs so well in low light. 
it. I really love the 50 mil focal length for basketball. Again, you can sit along that baseline. You can get some lovely shots, real decent focal length. If you're in too close to the basket, it might not be the best if you're right there under the hoop, but a little bit further out, out towards the corner, you can get some lovely stuff with the 50 mil. And to F1.8, you could be in the darkest school gym and you'll be totally fine using this. So moving on from the 50 mil, what have we got next? Well, it is a lens that you see in pretty much every sports photographer's bag and that is the Canon 70 to 200 mil f 2.8. This dove ha does have IS on it, but I have the IS turned off for pretty much all sports. F 2.8, again, it performs really well in the low light and of course paired with the 2470 gives you that versatility because you're covered from 24 mil all the way up to 200 mil. With a 70 to 200, that really covers you a lot. You can shoot the nearer end of the court with the 70 mil, and with the 200, you can zoom in down the other end, and it gives you that full range of action across the court. It also gives you that versatility for picking out people in the crowd, the coaches, players celebrating on the bench. That 200 mil reach works really, really well. So speaking of reach, that moves me on to my last one. It's not technically a lens, but this is the Canon x2 teleconverter. Now, I don't use this very much, but this does come out my bag sometimes when I'm shooting basket, mainly because I attach it to my 70 to 200. If you get this bad boy onto your 70 to 200 mil lens, that gives you, in theory, 400 mil worth of reach. Now, I just talked about the fact I don't take my 400 mil lens, so why would I need this? Well, that's because I don't want to carry my 400 mil lens to maybe shoot this for two minutes in a game. That's where my teleconverter comes in. I don't tend to shoot any match action with this because the thing you've got to remember, your f2.0 lens will become an f5.6 as soon as you put this two times converter on there. But what I do to counteract that, I bring my shutter speed down a bit and I use this to really get zoomed in to get some close up shots of things like the manager. You know, you can really get a nice kind of head and shoulder shot zoomed in of the manager over there on the bench using this combination. Normally something I do for like a couple of minutes sometime in the third quarter perhaps. Really good combination to get those detailed shots of the coach on the bench. I do a very similar thing with it actually on my 400mm for when I'm shooting football. So that's the lenses covered. Those are the lenses that I think will serve you the best if you're gonna go and shoot some basketball. But I promised you guys I would talk to you a little bit about where I use them, what kind of positions on the court. So the first thing I'll say is which are my favorites? Well, I shoot with two cameras when I'm shooting basketball and probably for 90% of the time, these are the two lenses that are on those cameras, the 70 to 200 and the 24 to 70. I find that these give me the biggest versatile range biggest ability to move along that baseline and get some fantastic shots from the different angles. When you're right in under the basket, so I mean sat right in there by the basket, the 24 to 70 is perfect. You can get wide enough to get the players driving down the lane at you, going up to the basket, and when the play's down the other end of the court, that's where your 70 to 200 mil comes in. The other place where this one is fantastic is where you're out by the corner of the court. So I tend to sit out on the baseline near where the three-point line joins that baseline. From there, the 70 to 200 mil is fantastic. 70 mil is the perfect focal length when you're looking towards the basket from there. You tend to get some good full body shots of somebody going up to the hole, putting a basket in, really, really great. Again, you can use that 200 mil down the court when they're coming up the court or down on the defensive end, works really, really well. When I'm using the wider lens, the 17 to 40, that tends to be when I'm right in under the basket. I actually quite often will hold that up a bit more, a bit further up above my head. I tend to get some nice like wide angle shots with that and it also works really well if you're allowed to mount remotes around the basket. That 17 mil works really well for that too. So what if I was working on a budget or I only had one camera, which lens would I use? I could only choose one, what would I choose? Well, for me, a lot of people probably thinking right now that I'm gonna choose the 70 to 200, but actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna choose the 24 to 70. The reason being for basketball, I think this gives you the most versatility. You can get in right under the basket at 24 mil, you get the players coming towards you and again when you're out at the corner the 70 mil like I said is perfect for looking towards the hoop. 
Fine with 70 mil, you won't get too far down the court, but in all honesty, 90% of your best basketball shots, they aren't gonna be down court. They're gonna be up in the half of the court nearest you, and you can get pretty much all of that with 70 mil. Like I said earlier, f2.8 works well in low light, so if I could only choose one lens for shooting basketball, it's gonna be the Canon 2470 f2.8 lens. Now I should just say, every lens and teleconverter that I've talked about in this video, I've linked in the description below. If you want to go check them out for yourselves, you can go have a look, see what you think of them for yourself. Like I said earlier, make sure you comment below and let me know which lens you use for basketball. Are you a basketball photographer who does take your 400mm lens? I'd be really interested to hear if that's you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favour, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video.